Hi guys, Drew here from Prepare Camping. Um, today I'm just going to go through a, a few everyday uh, items I keep in my pockets as part of my everyday carry here in the UK. Um, obviously it's going to be very different to what people in America might expect, but our, our laws are a lot stricter over here. So um, I'll lay it out and let's see what we think. So guys, here we have it laid out. I've got just over two meters of paracord in a basic cobra weave with a D shackle that I keep on my wrist. Has multiple uses, obviously. I mean, you can use that for all, all your corded uses. I mean, everyone knows about paracord. A um, little bit of Vaseline also has numerous uses, and in conjunction with this little thing that I'll talk about in a minute, can also help start a fire. Swiss Army knife. Everyone in the world should have one of them. That that you know, that's just a given. Uh, same goes with the uh, cotton bandana. Uh, you know, it's a handkerchief, but you can also use it for loads of other things, bandaging, everything like that. It's all good. This is a relatively new one. I've not really had a chance to try this out yet, really. This is a, a cheap little multi-tool that I got off of Amazon. So that's going that's going around with me at the moment. But like I said, I've only had that a week, so so I can't really talk about it. This was a, a gift from my wife. For Christmas a while back and you know it, it's not too bad I mean I, I've, I don't know how much it cost but being Bear Grylls branded I'm assuming it was <laughs> ridiculously overpriced but you know it's got some handy little things on it so there's a whistle obviously it's a fire starter I have tried it out as you can see and it's not too bad although I would say that I think the edges on the striker could do with being a bit stronger and I'll just pop the end off here for you a cap that just pops off you've got like a little storage compartment and there's a little bit of cotton wool in there that together with a little bit of your Vaseline and you've got a fire emergency tinder if there's nothing else available at the end of the day if you had to you could always pierce a hole in this with the uh, Swiss Army knife or the multi-tool make some char cloth there's plenty of stuff there keep you going for a little while so, that's what I keep in my pockets every day here in the UK. And uh, for virtually any situation, I think you're pretty much covered. I mean, obviously you'll have a pack or a bag with other contain you know, items in it, such as your water can uh, container, uh, maybe some, some more decent tools, headlights, torches, batteries, all, all that good stuff. And please, if you like this, subscribe, um, like, comment, all that good stuff. Really do appreciate it, guys. Take care. It's a shirt for my stag do. It was a great weekend in Estonia. Um, we spent time shooting AK-47s, obviously getting very, very drunk. Not at the same time. Should point that out. Um, we also went to Helsinki for the day. We had a fantastic curry. And we got uh, very, very drunk on the ferry as well, both ways. Uh, and it was an awesome time. I, I, I thoroughly recommend anyone that gets the opportunity to go to uh, both Finland and Estonia. Amazing countries. Give them a go. Cheers.